Hi guys, in this video, we're going to be showing you everything you can do with your Xenos infrared bar heater remote. Let's get going. First, you'll need to make sure your Xenos heater is remote controllable. If your heater has a red LED indicator, then unfortunately it's not remote controllable. If it has an LED screen, however, keep watching. Use the on off button to switch your Xenos heater on. You should see the display change once it's on. Pressing the on off button again switches your heater off. Press the temperature button on your remote, followed by the up or down buttons to adjust your target temperature. You can increase or decrease the target temperature in one degree increments. Press the timer button on your remote. You should see a flashing 00 on your screen. From here, you can use the up and down buttons to set how long you want your heater on for in one hour increments. Simply leave the heater for a few seconds to save your settings and you'll see the timer icon on screen. Press the high-low button on your remote to switch between 50% power and 100% power. You'll see a half-sun icon when it's at 50% and a full-sun icon when it's at 100%. Pressing the set button twice on your remote switches the display off. This helps save a little bit of energy. Press set once more to bring the display back. Press set and then child lock to lock your bar heater. You'll see the lock symbol appear on your bar heater's display. Press set and child lock again to unlock your heater. 